When you hear the word Holocaust, you immediately think about a guy named Adolf Hitler and a group of people called Nazis that killed millions of Jews. But the Nazis did not just kill Jews. Hitler wanted to imprison and kill anyone who did not fit his image of the perfect man. White, Christian, straight, blonde hair, blue eyes, and tall. Anyone who didn't fit this standard would soon be persecuted against and sent to concentration camps. The most persecuted against is Jewish people, and almost two-thirds of Europe's Jewish population was wiped out. But they were not the only ones who were getting killed. It was also immigrants, politicians, Jehovah Witnesses, and basically anyone who didn't fit this standard. But people's religion and race weren't the only thing that was monitored. It was also their sexuality. Specifically, homophiles were persecuted. Homophiles is the dated word for homosexual. The word comes from two words in Greek, homo meaning same and phile meaning love. This word was created in the 50s. Before that, there wasn't really a term to describe same-sex attraction, just slurs. Homophiles were the second most persecuted by the Nazis in the Holocaust. They were badly beaten, raped, starved, and murdered by the Nazis. Nazis burned down clubs, libraries, or any kind of building that supported homosexuals. So why did the Nazis persecute against the homosexuals? Well, according to the Book of Laws, it was to combat the low population rates. So Nazis tried to convert gay men and women to be straight. In this time, being gay was seen as a mental illness, and it was believed that you could convert someone to be straight by many heinous and vile acts. So you could be wondering how the Nazis knew about anyone being a homosexual. Well, Hitler changed the laws against homosexuals from anyone caught in homosexual activities to anyone who acts, walks, talks, or is rumored to be a homosexual, will be persecuted against. Some people who were ex-lovers would rat out their ex in spite. The ideal male was always a thing, even way long before the Holocaust. Throughout history, the LGBT community was forgotten, erased, or flat out lied about because of people's morals. Religion was a very powerful thing in Europe at this time, and basically it ruled over everyone's lives. So whatever their beliefs were, it was what goes. And at this time, Christians and Catholics believed that homosexuality was a mental illness, and it believed was a sin. In history, homosexuals were rarely ever treated with respect, and it was seen clear-cut in Europe. But also, in textbooks that we have read, Jews were also separated and ridiculed by the Christians in Europe, so homophiles were no different. The Holocaust killed from 15 million to 17 million people on average, and even more numbers were imprisoned and persecuted. The Nazis didn't stop until Hitler committed suicide in 1945. After the Holocaust, there was a good amount of survivors, but mostly were severely starved or injured. After World War II, it didn't stop all prejudice against homosexuals. It was still illegal, and prisoners during the Holocaust and war still had to serve out their sentence, even if they served it during the Holocaust. Striped trousers walking towards me and big wooden clogs. And it was a man, and I looked for the Star of David, and he had a big pink triangle and the number, and he carried a bucket, and he carried a brush. And he said in a very beautiful German, not in Yiddish, hurry, hurry, get up, I have work to do. I said, I can't, I am so ashamed. What is this? And I looked at this pink triangle to make conversation, to get him to go away. I couldn't get up naked like that. And he said to me, I'm gay. Ich bin schwul. But did I know what schwul was? I said, is that a religion? He said, no, I'm a homosexual. So I still didn't know. And he explained to me that with his partner, he lived in Munich, where he was an academic portrait. You painter. must be punished. You must be isolated. You made demoralization with the German soldiers. Not only one, but at all one army. How oh, you are like a uh, whore, Polish whore. You must be punished. Uh, uh, for five years we punish you. And my mother was there, she was sitting. You can understand. You can. I was unschuld, you know, unschuld. I didn't kill nobody. I didn't sing never. And they punished me for five years. And after that, when they gave me again the 
Yeah, they gave me against the chance and I passed my mother. She smiled only so a little. Me too. We couldn't spoke nothing. And this was the last thing of my mother. In America, we also believe that homosexuality was a disease, an illness that can be cured. There was a PSA that warned boys to stay away from men who could be a homosexual. What he didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual, a person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. But homosexual men and women came together in the 40s to start the homophile movement, and ended in the 70s. The homophile movement was for gay rights. Police brutality had gotten worse and worse, to the point of gay clubs and facilities getting shut down. These movements would soon lead to the Stonewall Riot in 1969. This riot was the start of the new and rest movements that would come into America. These riots helped the community gain rights, and now today same-sex marriage is legal in all 50 states. And we as a society have come to slowly accept the community. But persecution against the community in other countries still go on today. While we as a nation have slowly accepted the community, we still have a long way to go. This subject fits into triumph and tragedy because the Holocaust was a big setback in the community. But the victory would soon come later when the, the community gained rights. The subject is important because it helps people more understand the hardship the LGBT community has been through. Although it is a taboo subject to some, the subject still remains and needs to be talked about in schools. If we want to improve and evolve as a society, we need to talk about this subject. Thank you for watching this documentary. Subdeputes, I'm out.